Greetings and salutations, you guys. It's Hedron here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Because they're all doing fantastic. Um, I'm here today with a haul video from actually yesterday's thrifting video. So if you guys want to check that out, I'm going to have it linked right there. Um, and if you guys want to see more videos, I'm going to have those linked as well. More thrifting vlogs. We're doing vlogmas, handbag rehabs, all that fun stuff. Uh, if you guys love those sorts of videos, do not forget to subscribe to the little bell button so you're notified when new videos do go up at me on Instagram. It's Hedron, just like it's spelled here. And check out the shop. It's Hedron.com to see whatever sale from my thrifting adventures i also do live sales every friday and saturday night where i do a giveaway every single night and you can have a chance to win something super duper fun usually it's some sort of um wallet or bag or something so it's always something exciting um and it's free to join so consider joining and it's always a blast. So, also, I have a new Discord group as well. If you guys want to check that out down below in the description box, uh, we can chat with the rest of the Thrift Squad. Um, we can put up things that we have for sale if anyone's selling anything. Um, if you, anyone has any handbag rehab-related questions, um, authenticity questions about certain items, um, I can help you or a member of the Thrift Squad can help you as well. So it's just a great little community that we have over there, and it's always super-duper fun chatting with all of you guys there. Um, that's been live for just a few weeks, but I think it's been pretty successful so far and I cannot wait to see what it's gonna bring and uh, the this coming year 2020 oh my gosh 2022 it's like a lot of twos oh my goodness anyway let's get into what I found today I think I found some really great stuff we went to a bunch of different stores we're gonna start off with the Goodwill that I went to and then we're gonna follow it up with the rest of the stuff that I got at the other stores so um first thing I have here from the Goodwill is I did get this pair of um Swimming trunks. These are by um, Boss, by Hugo Boss. Um, super fun. I don't know. I just like the colors. I don't know. I, I like to wear swim shorts for some reason. Um, plus, like, I don't know. I just wear them, like, around the house or when I go swimming, of course. <laughs> but I know it's winter, but I, I mean, how can you pass up a good pair of swim trunks, right? Uh, these were a little pricey at $12.99, but I did have a coupon for like 20% off, I think. It was 20% off. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I like them. So if I like something enough, I think like, I'll, I'll, I'll get it at the thrift store. I mean, that was probably a lot more retail, right? The next thing I found is another pair of shorts. I thought these were really cool, and this is actually going to be part of one of my... Thriftmas, that's what I call my thrifted Christmas presents um, for this year for my nephew, Cade. I have been curating boxes for the members of my family and friends um, that I know would get a kick out of receiving a, like, a Thriftmas present. And I was actually toying with the idea of doing a, of sending one of you guys a Thriftmas present present like a box um so let me know what you guys think because if that happens uh or if i we if you guys like that idea i think i might actually do that i'll do like a giveaway for one at the very end of the month um i think it's too soon like it's like too late to like do it like on christmas or something so i want to let you guys know more in advance so maybe like we'll do like at the well call will have the entries by the end of the month i don't know let me know what you guys think let me know in this video comment down below if you guys like the idea i'm also going to do a video for what went into the different thrift miss boxes that i have curated um i'm just gonna do a couple of them though because they're it's quite a lot, but just like maybe like the one I have like for mom and the one I have for my sister and maybe like one of the kids, you know, something, something like that. Uh, but these shorts are so cool. Um, these are Dolce and Gabbana shorts and it has like these dogs printed on them. These are actually a, uh, kid shorts. Um, and I'm pretty sure that these will fit my nephew, Cade. And if not, like, they will definitely fit my sister. And she would definitely wear this, too. But, uh, I asked her, like, when I was in the store, I was like, do you think Cade would wear this? And she was like, yeah, Cade would totally wear that. So, I don't know, Cade's pretty fun. He likes to, like, have fun with fashion sometimes. And I think this is something that's kind of cool. Even if not anything, he just wear it around the house or whatever, you know. Um, and then this one was also $12.00 and 99 cents so i'm probably just gonna wash this up then um put it in his box for 
Christmas. But I looked it up. This is an authentic piece, which was really cool. And yeah, I mean, who doesn't want some fun looking shorts like that, right? And there we go. So those are the two things that I got from the Goodwill. Now on to the items that I found at like the various buy, sell, trade stores, consignment stores that I went to today as well. So let's get into it. The first thought sim I have here is this Kate Spade. Oh my goodness, you guys. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. This Kate Spade is so cute. It's a pineapple bag and it's quilted. I love that it has the little leaves up at the top. I think that is like a really nice touch. And I love like the, the way they quilted it. Like the texture just really makes it feel like a watermelon. Because like from far away you might think, oh, look, maybe it's like, oh, maybe it's a lemon. No, this is definitely a pineapple, right? So it's really cute. It has a crossbody strap, which is removable, so you can just use this as a clutch if you wanted to as well. Can you just imagine taking this on like a tropical vacation with you and you're going to like a nice dinner and you can have like this really cute bag, even just like in the summer or spring, really anytime, I feel like this would be fun. Uh, and the interior is like nice and clean, albeit it does not fit much. Um, I don't, yeah, it won't fit my iPhone. I have the iPhone Max size, like the largest size. Won't fit in here. A mini will probably fit inside. Um, but, I mean, very small essentials will definitely fit inside of here. And it's really cute. I got this one for $47.50. A little pricey, but these bags are usually pretty popular. And people collect the ones that are shaped as fun objects. And I feel like there's not a person on earth that doesn't love pineapples. They're so delicious and nutritious and they're super duper cute. So there you go. Got that guy. Let's put him next to our, our little puppy right here. He loves pineapples. Yes. Okay. Up next, I have... Oh, this one is another yellow bag. It is beautiful. It is stunning. I am pretty obsessed. And this is a Claire... Vivier clutch and this is in the most amazing highlighter bright neon yellow like it, it's making like the whole like it's like <laughs> it's like how cool it is i don't know it's amazing it like glows in the dark it glows in regular lighting it's just definitely a showstopper i think it's such a cool piece gold hardware it has kind of like a kiss lock thing up at the top and then it has a crossbody strap which is fantastic so you can wear it as a crossbody you can wear it just as a clutch the interior is in this chambray fabric lining and yeah it's just beautiful you guys uh, and we love claire vivier she is amazing she is a los angeles based designer and all her handbags are actually made here locally in la which i think is super duper cool i feel like there's not very many handbag brands that actually make their bags here in the U.S., actually. So, it's pretty exciting. I like that about her. Her items are also carried in in places such as Anthropology, where she actually has a, a line of stuff. She has everything from housewares to home accessories and, like, her leather goods. So, very exciting. We love to see it. There is, though, a little bit of some, like, weird color transfer on the back of the bag. I don't know, is it showing up? There's like some little marks. Um, yeah, I think it's definitely, it's definitely some sort of like weird color transfer thing. And it's, luckily it's only on one side of the bag. So it's like, honestly, it's not the worst. Oh, you know what? Some of it is coming off though. Hold on. If we can like save some of these marks from like sticking in sometimes when a mark is fresh like some sort of color transfer mark when it's fresh sometimes you can remove it or lighten it up considerably before it like really penetrates into like a deeper layer of the leather oh my gosh actually some of the lighter smaller marks came off and all of them are lightening up a little bit. So hold on one second. I'm so sorry that we're doing this mid-video. But sometimes um, things like this just need to be done. Um, at, like right at the moment. Otherwise, um, 
Oh my gosh, this one is fading a lot. <gasps> that is good. That is very, very good. Okay, we're like moving a lot of these marky marks on here. I don't know, maybe if the color transfer occurred while it was in the store, because it was like touching another bag. Like that's always a possibility as well um, with color transfer. Just like being up against a darker colored bag or um, even just like the moisture levels in the air can like with the, like when bags touch each other or their leathers touch each other sometimes like that weird bleeding can occur. And there's so many different weird factors. Um, even if it's like, it could be clothing or whatever. Um, lots of things, lots and lots of things. But we actually were able to remove some of the smaller marks, which is, I mean, that is fantastic. I'm very excited about that. And then I don't know if I can find an acrylic paint that is actually going to match with this sometimes. Um, I looked through my paints because I literally bought like the complete set of Angelus acrylic paints, but um, I didn't, I don't know if it comes with like, well, it didn't come with any neon colors, but I'm going to check because I don't think, um, I don't think it comes with like their full, full line. It's just like all of their like more regular colors, I guess. I don't know, but we were able to clean up a lot of the marks on the back, which I'm pretty excited about. Some of them like lightened up considerably. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, but like I said, the front of it is pretty much in perfect condition. So like one side is like really good and the other just has a few little flaws. Um, I did get this bag for $32.50 and... I think it's still worth it even with the marks honestly the bag is super duper cute and i just love like the color and look of it like honestly this looks like a little bit of an art like an art piece and you can just like set it on the table on top of like a stack of books or on a dresser or something and i think it'll look fantastic i love decorating with like objects like handbags or even like shoes like beautiful shoes come on like they're all works of art right and this one I think is really fantastic. I'm actually going to go on to the Angelus website, uh, or actually maybe even Amazon. Let me just check Amazon because Amazon, like sometimes, or actually Amazon is like a lot, a lot faster with shipping. Um, Angelus acrylic paint neon yellow. Does it come in? Oh wait, there it is. Oh, there is a neon um, colored starter pack. Um, okay, so there is a color called Tropic Sun Yellow. And I feel like that looks pretty spot on with... Is it spot on? I don't know. I can't... Is it... You can never tell with a photo. Um, but I mean, it looks pretty close. I might just like need to tweak the color just a little bit. Um, but I need to order it soon so I can get it before the holidays. Otherwise, it's not going to arrive. Okay, let me just buy this now because I'm scared of it not coming in time and I don't want to like I just want to be able to work on this already uh, da -da. like literally of course I'm shopping right while I'm recording this video but that'll happen <laughs> time is of the essence and just like that we ordered it Hopefully it will actually come by Thursday, December 23rd, but we shall see. Um, I'm actually going to, let me go to the Angelus website, Angelus, because I think they might have like a better swatch on their, um, on their website. Oh, I need some water. This is like stressful. Okay. Oh, can I search stuff? Oh, neon paint. And of course I didn't actually, um, okay. They have popsicle green, they have sunset yellow, okay, tropic sun yellow, 
is like very, very, very close. Um, I think there might be like a little bit of a hint of green inside of this. And they have another color called Popsicle Green and then another one called Neon Amazon Green. Come on, color theory. Okay, so I'm trying to decide which color I might need. Which color do I actually like more? I feel like I can make them both work. It just depends on how much of each color I put. Okay, let me just see if they sell it on Amazon. Um, Angelus Neon Green Acrylic Paint. The things I do. Okay. Um, Popsicle Green looks like it, it's going to deliver on Friday, December 24. I really should have just ordered the starter pack with all the neon colors. Why am I like crazy? Um, oh, look at this. Okay, so the if I order the the starter pack of all the colors. Oh, oh, 24. Okay, wait. No, actually, if I order the set, I think I'd rather order it from Angelus because the there's a set of 6 that you can order um, on Amazon, and that's twenty four ninety nine. But then, if you order the pack, the neon color kit of twelve, it's thirty six ninety five on Angelus. So I would rather just like get more colors, but I just really want that one color. And I could probably just use one of my other regular greens to kind of like mix it in. Yeah, we'll make it work with that one yellow, and um. Yeah, because I don't want to, like, go crazy buying, like, all these paints and I just end up, like, wanting to buy, like, the set. I'm just crazy. Okay. <sighs> Welcome to this video where I just buy stuff online while you guys will watch me <laughs> go crazy. Anyway, um, let's continue with what else I got. The next thing, this is, uh, I think this is one of my favorite things. Actually, no, I really like all three of these. I think these are my top three favorite bags I thrifted today. But this one is really good. This is a Marc Jacobs New York wallet on a chain. This one is exquisite. I really love all the details. I think it's super cool. It was $37.50. And I love, like, it has, like, the sequin eye. And it looks like it's, like, crying, maybe. Like, it's just really cool and kind of, like, abstract. There's the mouth with the pearl teeth. I think that's super fun. And the, the lips are actually embroidered on with, like... Oh, that's like a metal. It's actually metal. That's cool. And it's like very like 3D. It's very textural, which I think is really cool. So this is like another, like the first three items, they're like evening bags that you can use. But this one, yeah, you can use this as an evening bag. You can use it as a clutch. The strap is removable. It has a lot of card slots built in. So it looks like there's eight card slots up there. There's another eight inside this pocket. There's another back pocket behind it. There's a zipper pocket here in the front that has all of the um, the cards and stuff that came with the bag. But this guy is gorgeous. I love it. I also do like that the crossbody strap is removable. I feel like that is always something fantastic. So you can carry things in multiple different ways. What's also cool too that I like is you can actually like elevate this bag even more if you wanted and it does have these little loops inside so you, if you want you can attach a chain strap to this and what's fantastic is that like the, the this has both silver and gold so you can do a silver or gold strap depending on what sort of maybe jewelry you're wearing for the day or evening or whatever and then it'll match so i think it's really cool I love, like, having options and being able to do, uh, change things up like that. So I think that, uh, is really cool. So there you go. This one was $37.50. So I feel like the, our little dog, he, our little dog friend right here is just, like, modeling everything. And I have just two more things. The next item I have here, this is a Kurt Geiger, uh, convertible flap bag. And this one is in brand, this is brand new. Um, it still has, like plastic and stuff on the hardware 
but this is velvet and then a like metallic tweed which I think is really fun and then it has rhinestones this is definitely like a new year's bag it's super fun here's the back of it it's just in the tweed it has gunmetal colored hardware you can wear this as a crossbody bag or as a shoulder bag or you can just put everything all the chains inside and then just use it as a clutch another evening bag how do Four bags so far, evening bags. But I feel like this is such a fun bag to dress up or dress down. Like, this is a cool bag to just wear with, like, jeans and a white shirt. And then, this, like, the one statement piece. I think that, like, it's really cool, you know? I kind of love, like, that juxtaposition. Uh, I think that's fun. This one was a little more pricey, too. This one was $47.50, but brand new Kurt Geiger. The inside is also in immaculate condition. It just has one interior pocket. This is just the receipt. Uh, yeah. Just our little receipt and here is the interior just like black black lining fantastic we love to see it and i just think this is a super duper fun bag let me just save my receipt and keep it inside oh my gosh the strap is cold <laughs> It's so cold inside my room, and then, like, the strap is metal, so it, like, it, like, absorbs the cold. <laughs> and I, like, touched my leg, and I was like, ah, it's freezing. Alright, let's put this one next to Sleeping Pikachu. Sleeping Pikachu. Alright, so, got that one. And then, last but not least, uh, this is a Long Shove Le Pliage Core it's like C-U-I-R, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a all. It's one of the all leather bags, which is fantastic, and it has um, the little things on the side so you can carry it as a crossbody strap, so the strap is missing, but you can attach like a cool chain strap to this, or like a cool, like, um, I would probably do like a cool like guitar fabric strap, which would be really nice too, to just make this bag pop even more. And the bag itself is in pretty great condition. There's just minimal signs of wear, just slight rubbing on the corners, nothing too crazy. It has silver hardware. I love these bags because you can, they're super lightweight, they're easy to pack away. If you're traveling, this is like your perfect traveling companion. You can carry everything and more inside of this. Super like, um, pliable, it's, you can fold it up and then pack it away really small inside your luggage as well if you wanted, and I love that it zips across the top, it's super, this one is super clean on the inside, it just has one interior zipper pocket right there, um, and this one was $65, a little, again, a little bit more on the expensive side, but the, uh, the all leather Le Pliage Cor, Cor, Cor Whatever bags are, um, oh my gosh, it's like not going. There you go. Are a couple hundred dollars anyway, like maybe four? Something like that? I don't, I don't remember. But yeah, fantastic. Pretty excited about this one as well. And that is actually going to round out today's video. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today, checking out the stores that I went to, and seeing what I found. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys have found anything really cool recently, because I love, I always love hearing about your finds as well. And don't forget to tune in to today's vlog. It's up at 2, where we also go thrifting. I mean, two thrifting videos in one day. Fantastic. I also found some pretty cool stuff, so don't forget to check that out. And then the new thrifting video is tomorrow at 7 a.m. Another vlog at 2. Two videos for the rest of December. Every day. Monday through Friday. Saturday to Sunday. Just one video. Um, and yeah, that's it. Love you guys so much. I'll see you guys on the next video. Adios!